Why didn't you come? I'm sorry, I just so tired this why. You look tired. You look yeah. exhausted, actually. You're a liar. Mahmoud, tell Whoa. the truth. Yeah, tell the truth. Whoa, Nicole, where the hell did that come from? It's as if something has snapped in Nicole. There's a lot of resentment in her. And when Mahmoud tries to attribute his bad attitude as being down to tiredness, it's just too much for Nicole to handle. It totally triggers her. Yeah. I'm sorry, it's because me. That took a turn. Little hateful little Hey, hey. No, I don't even want to be near him. Wow, <laughs> okay, she doesn't want to be near him. May I just remind you that Mahmoud has only been in the States for about 48 hours. Already, this marriage is hanging on by a thread. But before we get into all of this drama, let's rewind to the start. So the last we saw the pair, Mahmoud was refusing to go out and meet Nicole's friends. Why? Because he didn't like the fact that the dress that she was wearing showed a tiny peep of her back. But rather than back down to Mahmoud, Nicole decided to go out by herself regardless. Where is the Mr. Mahmoud? He's not coming. <gasps> no? No. What? Oh. We were excited to meet him. I know, like that's what I said. Now, for as secretive as Nicole has been painted out to be in the past, and remember, this is a lady who flew out to Egypt, got married and converted to Islam without telling her friends or her family. She does have three friends who she confides in. And with that in mind, Nicole's friend from Ukraine, Olga, immediately cuts to the chase. What's happened? Why hasn't Mahmoud joined us for dinner? She asks. I laid down the law. He said, that's okay, yeah, that's fine, yeah. But then I wore this dress and he says, we're done. Now, Nicole explains that she and Mahmoud had literally just had a conversation about what she expects from him now he's in the States. But isn't it funny that Nicole's using language like lay down the law? She seems determined to be in control. She expects him to abide by her rules this time. But therein lies the problem, doesn't it? All of this talk about abiding by rules, having control, laying down the law, just isn't healthy. Like, a healthy marriage shouldn't require one party to control the other. And the fact that they're both tussling for this power within the relationship, both resorting to threatening divorce when things don't go their own way, raises a lot of question marks with her friends. Can you be so quick to jump to the divorce thing? I didn't say divorce, he said he divorce said and he always says divorce. This is unacceptable. Okay, yes, he might have used the D word, but isn't it convenient that the day before, Nicole told Mahmoud that if he wanted an Arab woman, he should go back to Egypt and get one. Which, correct me if I'm wrong, but is exactly the same sentiment, is it not? Look, ever since Mahmoud has arrived, it feels like Nicole is trying her best to stand her ground. But the problem is, she doesn't really know how to do it effectively yet. And as a result, it's just coming across as being very overbearing and controlling. Do you love him? I love him to the moon and back, Julian, but does that make a difference? He's just freaking out. Yeah. You just gotta let him settle in a little bit. And when Nicole was in Egypt, it felt like she was the victim. She always seemed to be on the receiving end. But this season, we're definitely seeing a different side to Nicole. Dare I say it, a more manipulative side. Even her friends, who have known her for over a decade, all agree that Nicole is expecting too much from Mahmoud. She's pushing for too much too quickly. Keep in mind, it's still only been 48 hours since he arrived. If she really thought that he'd change his ways miraculously already, then she's living in a fairy tale. It's only been like two days. You know, I can't relate on Mahmoud in very many questions even without me being Muslim. I came around like six years ago. Now, Olga reveals that her experience as a Ukrainian immigrant makes her far more sympathetic towards Mahmoud. 
She says that being in a different country all alone is a challenge. And that's something that Nicole should understand. She says that she does understand because of her own experiences when she lived in Egypt. But despite what she says, it does feel like she's forgotten her own experiences completely. Meet Give him some time. Man. Meet a man. I can show him the ropes. I think you can get past this. This is actually a smart game plan. Mahmoud comes from a patriarchal society. He's used to men being in charge, so he'll probably respond much better and be more comfortable with a male support network, a man by his side to show him how things work in LA, as messed up as that is. But sadly, it's after this conversation when all logic and rational thought seems to just fly out of the window. Can we still see him? We need to meet him anyway. Are we not allowed to come over? I mean, absolutely. Please come over. Okay. Like, show him a little bit of the world. Now, the group wants to go over now. Like, Nicole and Mahmoud just had a huge fight. Mahmoud's still adjusting to being in a new country. He's probably still jet lagged. Is right now really the right time to bring home a group of people that he doesn't know and just make him feel even more uncomfortable? Is this really the right time to force him into an interaction that he's not prepared for? Well, bizarrely, Nicole somehow thinks that this might help him to relax. So I'm hoping that when he meets my friends, he can just kind of relax, let his guard down, have a little fun. I don't know if Mahmoud will like to be surprised. A surprise? <laughs> yeah, right. Has Nicole hit her head? Can someone check if she's okay? Because she's talking absolute nonsense. Like, why on earth can't Nicole just send her husband a quick text? to at least warn him of what's about to come. This is what I mean when I said this season we're seeing a different side to Nicole. She's coming across as a bit more manipulative. It's almost as if she's deliberately setting Mahmoud up for failure. She's determined to thrust him into a situation she knows he's not going to be comfortable in, so she can prove a point, so she can point at him and say, look, he's a bad guy. My friends are like fun, positive people who could possibly cheer him up. I mean, they've cheered me up. If the mountain do not come to the Mahomet, then Mahomet come to the mountain. Sorry, Nicole, but they're not his friends. They're not gonna cheer him up. Like, need I remind you how things went the last time you introduced him to one of your friends? I'm really having a hard time believing that Nicole actually believes what she's saying. I feel like she's acting dumb on purpose. It's almost as if this scenario is far more calculated. She wants revenge. She wants to get her own back on Mahmoud mood for his bad behaviour. Almost as if she wants to humiliate him in front of her friends. And so the group head to the apartment giggling, but they wouldn't be giggling if they knew just how badly this is about to go. My friends are here, so if you okay. want to come out and meet him, you should. I get surprised when I heard Nicole Camo is like her friend, because I was like sleeping. There's immediately tension. Mahmoud's exhausted. He's confused as to why there's a group of strangers standing there before him. And to make things worse, Nicole's friends may just be trying to be friendly, but Nicole clearly hasn't taken the time to explain to them the rules Mahmoud abides by for his religion. Because Olga immediately goes to their bedroom and jumps on their bed to hug Mahmoud. My religion said, like, I don't suppose to touch another woman, she's not, like, from my family. And some girl come to my room, her friend, like, hugs me, like, feels weird for me. Look, Nicole's friends seem like nice people. They seem like they want to help Mahmoud. But the thing is, Nicole has falsely guided them into this situation, a situation that they're not equipped for. And now she's just standing back and watching it happen. She's just waiting for the inevitable reaction from Mahmoud. Like, just look at Mahmoud here. He looks exhausted enough as it is. But now, things take a turn when the group ask Nicole to pour them some drinks. 
You know me, tequila's good. Yeah, tequila? Yeah, please. Like, would you have, like, some, maybe, like, one vodka shot and some... You want a shot of vodka? Now, Mahmoud clearly isn't happy, but credit where it's due, he doesn't say anything. He doesn't kick up a fuss. In fact, even when the friends seem to probe him and ask, is this okay, Mahmoud? Perhaps hoping to get a reaction from him, hoping to test his limits, Mahmoud just brushes it off. Yes, he says, it's fine, no problem. You guys do whatever you want to do. <laughs> Mahmoud, I'm sorry Jeez, if you would mind. not mind. It's okay, yes. I'm you sorry. can do whatever yeah. you want. Now, I think we have to point out that this is improvement for Mahmoud. He doesn't like it, it makes him feel uncomfortable, and you can see him clinging onto his prayer mat almost as a safety blanket, but he realises there's nothing he can do. This is America, if they want to drink, they're going to drink. But interestingly, his public reaction takes Nicole by surprise. She seems pissed off with him. Now, park that thought for a second, because we're going to come back to that shortly. But away from the friends, Mahmoud admits he feels Nicole is deliberately pushing him too far. I'm trying to change as much as I can to can be with her, but I think what she's doing right now is too much. Now, for what it's worth, Nicole readily admits that she knows this will push her husband's buttons. She knows that what she's doing is deliberately pushing him into the deep end. In fact, she even admits it makes her feel uncomfortable too. But this is just the reality of life in America. He's gonna have to get used to it, and there's no time like the present. It really does feel like she's deliberately testing him. I definitely feel uncomfortable pouring drinks for my friends. I know that that would not be something that, that Mahmoud's ever seen. And I sort of don't want to do it, but then it's a part of my culture. Yeah, there was a time and a place to do this, and it wasn't now. Now, Nicole begins to backtrack. She claims she's trying to educate Mahmoud on her culture, but what she's really doing is trying to make her husband feel uncomfortable. She knows he's outnumbered, and she probably knows he's about to get very upset. Now, the group cheers. They laugh about bringing the party to Mahmoud. And then, Julian asks why he didn't come for dinner. Why don't you come? I'm sorry, I just so tired is why. You look tired. You look yeah. exhausted, actually. You're a liar. Mahmoud, tell Whoa. the truth. Yeah, tell the truth. Where did that come from? Mahmoud's making excuses as to why he didn't go, so as not to air their dirty laundry. I mean, that is perfectly normal behaviour, isn't it? But the thing is, Nicole wants to cause a scene in front of her friends. She almost wants to gang up on Mahmoud, and it's actually quite toxic behaviour. Like, just from her language, you can really tell how much resentment she has for Mahmoud. And even her friends are shocked by her outburst. Okay, well, uh, uh. It's okay. I can't hide my feelings anymore. Yeah, I understand yeah. you, Nicole. I understand. Yeah. Nicole's furious that Mahmoud's sitting there smiling, trying to entertain the guests that she sprung on him. But what else is he supposed to do? She created this situation. Like, if he'd been angry, if he'd been rude or acted in any other way, she'd also be angry. So it's a no-win situation for Mahmoud here. And one thing's for sure. For all his faults in this situation, Mahmoud doesn't deserve the look of disgust being thrown his way. And now he's sitting here smiling and being all nice with my friends, saying, oh, I was tired, that's why I couldn't come. And it's embarrassing. It makes me look bad, like... Ah, I see. That's why she's angry. She feels that because Mahmoud hasn't taken the bait and completely overreacted, it now looks to her friends as if she's the one blowing things out of proportion. But that wasn't the case until now. But now it is the case. She is blowing things out of proportion. Her behaviour is wildly unnecessary. And it's at this point that Mahmoud has had enough. He's done with the night. And after Nicole's outburst, he just excuses himself. 
I'm yeah. sorry. Excuse me. That took a turn. Well, oh, hateful little Hey, hey. No, I don't even want to be near him. Where's this version of Nicole even coming from? She's being openly hostile, even verbally abusive towards Mahmoud. And no one should speak to anyone like that, let alone in front of their friends where one of them is completely outnumbered. It's pretty disgusting behaviour, and it just reinforces the fact that I think Nicole is out for revenge. It's as if she's been bottling all of this rage up inside for years, and now that he's in the States, it's about to be unleashed. But the question is, how long can either of them continue in a marriage that clearly makes them both miserable?